Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope everyone's having a good breeding season. Um, this morning I was supposed to give you a run round of um, how we're doing, how we're set up. But unfortunately, I don't know if you can see that drill, despite being fully charged, it's having issues. So I'm to set all these boxes up by hand. Um, once I've done that, I'll get back to filming, um, sort all the boxes out, get a quick clean round, and then I'll give you a talk through on uh, what's going on with the birds. Stick around to the end, it's uh, something really special to show you. Uh, we've got a bird that my partner's picked up. It's that mealy there on the perch. So stick around to the end and I'll show you all about him. So I'll give you a quick update of what's going on in my race loft. Uh, currently the hens are out. Um, quick update of what's going on in the race loft. Currently the hens are out. Um, you know, they're all paired up. Uh, just let them out today for the first time in uh, probably, probably around. Just let them out for the first time today. First time out, you know, since the end of racing last year. Really, well, give or take uh, a few times. Um, while they are out there, I'll just show you what I've been doing in here. As you can see, um, in the middle of doing something with insulation to try and keep temperatures a bit more constant. Um, or a bit more consistent, I should say. Uh, the floor, as you can see, lovely and dry. Got a bit of, um, picked up the Harkers, like loft treatment, loft white, uh, while in the lap pool. So that's been brushed into the floor. And it's actually working fantastically. Um, See, cocks are all in the boxes. They're currently locked in. Currently locked in while the hens are out. Once get the hens in, turn that back up. Once get the hens back in, um, these cars will go out for a bit. Doors getting a bit stiff. They want cleaning out around the doors for the look of it. Not a problem. As you can see, they've started to, not so much here, but certainly down there, they've started to pick up some of the stuff for the nest building. Uh, it's squeaky, it. very defensive. Uh, but yeah, so that's more or less where we're at with these guys in here. So yeah, I've still got. This with a straw which I know isn't fantastic. Um, sort of spread it about on the floor a bit and now uh, they can come and pick it up as and when they want it. Um, also picked up this lovely water tray drinker while I was in Blackpool. Which uh, very happy with. More or less where we're at with those and let's go back into the stock section clear a few bits and pieces out of the way and i'll show you what i'm doing in here so as you can see i've only got Three spare hens in here currently. Well, two really, uh, given that, that one's the fantail. So that's my spare hens. Um, as you can see, all empty perches in here. I'll move this water drinker down here a minute. In here. 
currently got the black mineral on the go. Pink mineral in there. The birds absolutely love this stuff. Uh, that's on offer to them all the time. And it's just some mixed grits. Um, and it's got some more vitamins and whatnot in there. That's just mixed grit. Nice little box. I've spilt the water, but I'll be alright. So, what I do is I'll let, I tend to have a pair of these out at any given time. Uh, currently, I have this red grizzle. And Softly blue pied white flight hen. So they're currently in temporary boxes. Um, I've literally just tipped the old boxes on the side. Um, yeah, I made it a bit more secure. Look, uh, screwed it to the wall in several places. Um, they're in the temporary boxes purely because um, I'm in the middle of sorting something a bit more permanent. And then over this side, we have some proper uh, Widowood style boxes put together, and the other pairs are locked in there currently. Down the bottom, we've got marble and over there in the cock, and another stunning uh, blue pied hen from last year. Next box up. Managed to get hold of some yellows. Absolutely stunning. Stunning yellow spread cock there. Um, again, these, these are not show birds. They are genuine race birds. You know, from quality race stock as well. Look forward to showing you some more of them in here. Got another another yellow spread cock and lovely blue bar hen. Absolute quality hen this one. Uh, bred from the McNally family again. Uh, don't know much about this one other than it is it was a bird for sale uh, unfortunately it went unsold so this one was gifted to us uh, I look forward to seeing what these these produce absolutely stunning pair so I'll check back on them in a few days time Then again up here, this beautiful mealy, again from the McNally family. Uh, what I will do is go through some of his pedigree in a few minutes and another yellow check, check mealy. Um, you'll spot the ETS on this one. Uh, Todd has gone to Penzance at least twice. Um, I believe that was with the National Racing. I will confirm that for you uh, in another video. So there we go, that's where we're at. That, that is very much where we're at with breeding right now. I'm going to go get the hens in. And after that, I'll let the cocks out for an hour and I will rejoin you shortly. <laughs> 